Hey, what's up, guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today I'm going to be doing a Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon deck profile. So, this is definitely one of my top five favorite deck profiles of all time. Um, this deck is really, 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 really good. Um, it's really fun to be able to just surprise your opponent. And I actually have some tech cards in here, but I really quickly want to give a shout out to my buddy Lane. Um, he's been playing around with this deck. It was the deck that he kind of got back into Yu-Gi-Oh with, and it's just super exciting to see him play. And this is like his signature deck. So I want to give him a shout out. Um, I really am enjoy enjoying playing over with you with, at Mythics. Uh, it's super fun to be able to go over there and, you know, test duel and live duel with him. He's one of the people that I do live duels with a lot of times, which is Reaper the Dark Clown. He does a lot of stuff for the channel, and I really appreciate all the stuff that he does helping out. So anyways, guys, let's get straight on this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and there's some come part of the notification squad, and let's get straight on this. And I will tell you right off the bat, you don't. And he's going to tell you this too, probably in the comments, but you don't even have to have an extra deck in here to play this deck. You can carry just this, which he did for a very long time and did very well with this deck, just playing the main deck. So it's a, it is an option. So let's get straight on this. And don't forget to hit that Ko-Fi down there so you guys can become channel donors, which would be pretty cool. So we're going to be playing three copies of Blue Eyes Chaos Max. You do need the three copies of Blue Eyes Chaos Max because it is the best boss monster deck and i have to say this deck is relatively budget too um you can probably build this deck for maybe if if you don't play one of the cards i'm going to tell you to play you could probably get the deck for maybe 50 bucks maybe uh, and there is other options to play one of the other cards that i'll show you in a second but you need three copies of blue eyes cast max that can be destroyed by battle uh or can be destroyed by card effects and also it cannot be targeted by card effects and even if it battles a defense position monster, you instantly inflict piercing damage, which can just instantly OTK your opponent if you attack into a zero defense position monster, which we have a surprise tech card at the end that I'm going to show you. So, uh, two copies of Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon's effect is, is basically if it attacks an opponent's monster, it can't be targeted by card effects, it can't be destroyed by card effects, and also if this card is ritual summon using Blue Eyes White Dragon, when it declares an attack, you can change the battle position of as many monster opponent controls as possible, and if you do, the attack and events of the current monsters become zero, and if this card attacks defense position monster, it inflicts piercing damage, which is really awesome to be able to combo with Blue Eyes Chaos Max, but you really only need two of it. So then I play three copies of Blue Eyes um, white, all blue eyes, alternative white dragon. You could probably drop these and make the deck a little bit more budget, but I like the three alternative whites in here, um, and play maybe something like three ash or something like that. But I like the three alternative whites because it's just really good in the deck. Um, three copies of blue eyes, white dragon. I think you honestly, you have to play three blue eyes, white dragons. It's not a blue eyes deck without the three. And plus, very few have seen this creature with it and lived to tell the tale, so you have to play three, because if you summon this against your opponent, they're not going to live to tell the tale. Um, three copies of Manju of the 10,000 Hands. You need three Manju. I'm not even going to cover that blue eyes up. We need to be able to see that, that, that beautiful blue eyes. So, um, three copies of Manju. Manju is really good in the deck to be able to just normal summon. It's your only normal summon in the whole deck, so you need to draw into this to search the exact piece that you need for your combo, so you just play it as a three of. Two copies of Talismandra, double Talismandra, double Candle, double Bookstone, and double Pencil Plume. This deck, these make the deck function. Um, you could play Chalice Slime. I thought about playing Chalice Slime as a three of to search any of these that I need, but I just haven't got around to it because I just I draw into them so easily. I just don't feel like I need them as much. But it might make the deck a little bit more consistent, so I, I might offer a couple of suggestions. You could drop maybe the alternative whites for Chalice Slimes if you want to make the deck a little bit more consistent and want to play a little bit more based around um, Blue Eyes, White Dragons, and stuff like that. But uh, or less about Blue Eyes and more about Chaos Max. But you could probably do that, and I might do that. Uh, I've been playtesting around the deck to get a little bit more budget for you guys. And so maybe you could play Chalice Slime over Alternative White, but I need to play test with it more before I confirm or deny that. So that's just a good option for you guys. But these um, incantation monsters, they really actually play into the combos, and it's really important to play two of each because you have to see one in your opening hand, and that's why I'm thinking about playing Chalice Slime so you actually have like 11 of them so you can actually summon them really easily. So that's it for the main deck monsters, guys. Basically what these do is is they search either spell, ritual spells or ritual monsters or add them back to your hand, depending on which one you search with or summon with into these. So that's it for the um, 
monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. Yeah, that's really cool how I do that. I know. I know. I'm cool. Uh, I've been doing this a while. You guys know. So, for the spells, guys, we're going to be playing one copy of Monster Reborn. Uh, Monster Reborn is really good in the deck to be able to revive your Blue Eyes Chaos Max if it does get destroyed by battle or something and you need to bring it back. Three copies of Call by the Grave. Call by the Grave is just really good in the deck to be able to target a hand trap and then just instantly say, nope, I'm not dealing with that. Two copies of Chaos Form. I play two copies of Chaos Form because sometimes you need that Chaos Form and be able to summon, like, if you can, if you draw into Advanced Ritual Art and Chaos Form and you can search um, Chaos Max and regular Chaos Dragon, you've pretty much won at that point. Um, three copies of Advanced Ritual Art. Advanced Ritual Art just basically says, hey, um, we're going to Ritual Summon from the deck. We're going to send Blue-Eyes White Dragon from the deck to be able to Ritual Summon Chaos Max or Chaos Dragon. Three copies of Trade-In. Trade-In is really good in the deck because you just have to discard one of your, either your Ritual Monsters that you duplicate in your hand or your copies of um, Alternative or Blue-Eyes White Dragon, which you can then use Chaos Form to use them to get them back in the hand and stuff like that. So Trade-In is really good to be able to do all sorts of different crazy combos with, to get extra cards to be able to go off with. Three copies of Melody of Awakening Dragons. You just discard a card from your hand to add two dragon monsters with 3,000 attack and 2,500 or less defense, which all of these blue eyes qualify as those uh, stats. So you just use them to be able to go into all those different plays. And then my secret tech is three copies of Sheehan Spy. So Sheehan Spy is really awesome. And I really quickly will show you the combo that you can OTK your opponent before we even go into the extra deck. Because you don't really have to have the extra deck. So let's say we open up just these three cards. Or you can open up incantations. It doesn't really matter. But if you open up with a ritual summon. If you can ritual summon and you have she and spy, you're going to win. Um, if you have an incantation. You have to have one incantation. So like, let's just say, for instance, I have... Uh, this one you have to reveal a ritual monster. So let's not even say that I had this. I can have either of these. Okay, I'm going to search this though. So basically what you do is, is you reveal with Talismandra the Blue Eyes Chaos Max. After you do reveal the Chaos Max, you're going to special summon your Talismandra onto your side of the field. Talismandra is then going to activate and special summon Kandal, which is the regular old combo, which we're just going to say they're right here because we're going to clear the way. Um, then after you special summon the Kandal, you're going to search your copy of Advanced Ritual Art because this search is the ritual spell. Or if you didn't have this, you could have either or, and as long as you have either or with this, it doesn't matter. As long as you have an incantation and a ritual summon in the hand, it's fine. Um, so then you do Advanced Ritual Art. After you do Advanced Ritual Art, you send to the graveyard your Blue Eyes White Dragon. Blue Eyes White Dragon hits the graveyard. Over here, we're just going to put these off screen. And then summon Blue Eyes Chaos Max. So at this point, you activate She and Spy and give them either or and say, Hey, uh, we got a present for you. Either take this or this. Uh, you pick your poison. But basically, you get to pick. But you can be nice and let them pick. Um, let's say I give them my copy of my Talismandra on their side of the field. Let's just take this one over here. And then I attack into the Talismandra because it has zero defense and I win the game. That is how you OTK your opponent with this deck. The simple way. Um, you can win just through brute force. Uh, but that's another way of just instantly OTKing your opponent with this deck. That is just totally devastating to just win. So the extra deck, guys. We're going to go straight into the extra deck. Thanks to that after we do that combo. Uh, so for the extra deck, I'm playing two copies of Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. You can play it at two. I think it's a good two of in the deck. Because you can just make it really easily. And go off from there. I mean, you can just summon a Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Or, I mean, if you need to summon this, you can. But you don't have to play this extra deck if you don't want to. One copy of Beat Cop, because you can have it for the zones. You're never going to summon... Uh, you can't summon anything during the extra deck when you have incantations on the field. And you're going to OTK your opponent. But these are just options. Cerberus to pop monsters. Phoenix to pop spells and traps. Unicorn to balance monsters, Boral Sword to, you know, OTK if you're not going to do it with a Chaos Max, which you're going to do with Chaos Max. Um, then for the rank 8, which is where I actually summon sometimes, and that's Hope Harboring Dragon Titanic Galaxy. If you only carried one card around with you from the extra deck, it would have to be Hope Harboring Dragon Titanic Galaxy. Full Armor Photon, because you can overlay into it and then pop a card. 
Cypher Dragon because it's easy to take your opponent's monsters. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon because it's another 4,000 meter. Uh, Tekion because you can make Tekion and it's a ghost rare, so why not play it? Felgrand is another one that I highly recommend. If you're going to get an extra deck card, get Felgrand and get Hope Harboring. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. This one negates stuff because during your opponent's uh, turn, quick effect, you can take a Galaxy Eyes. No, that's not the effect. Uh, when your opponent's monster activates the effect, you can detach a material from this card and negate the activation if you do, uh, or negate the effect of the monster. And if you detached a Galaxy Eyes card, you can destroy the card, but you just are going to negate it normally. Um, and then one copy of Lancelot, which is number 23, Dark Knight of the Underworld. You can make it really easily attack your opponent directly to just finish off the game if you need to. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's super, super fun. I'm glad I got to show you guys that combo because it's a really, really, really short video to show Chaos Max because it really is a simple deck. Um, it's a really good learner deck to be able to teach people how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and just like show them basic combos of something this big big beat stick to be able to otk your opponent so anyways guys this is dark room duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that bell in there so you can come part of notification squad and i'll see you guys in the next video see you around guys